The FDA result is transformative for Serena, not only because it gives us a regulatory pathway for pos apomorphine, our lead asset, that is an accelerated pathway, a greatly accelerated pathway to getting what we believe is an extraordinary product profile to clinicians and patients very efficiently. It is also proof of principle of Serena's drug development business model. Think about Serena having the clinical risk of a reformulation company because we're working with well-established small molecules, essentially clinically de-risked. They've already been through clinical trials. So our posylation technology was designed to enable small molecules that are already well-characterized as approved drugs. Uh, what we followed with SCR252 is starting with a molecule like apomorphine, well-characterized, well-described. The convenience of the current therapies that use apomorphine is their active drug product are invasive, they're challenging to use, and they don't serve the patient 24 seven. Our long acting injectable technology solves for the convenience, compliance, adherence, quality of life of creating an optimal product that harnesses the power of apomorphine, which is a very efficacious molecule, and dials out the safety issues of the current uses, the current way that apomorphine is administered. And so if we can rinse and repeat that phenotype, then we prospectively can use the same 505B2 NDA pathway as precedent, using SCR252 as precedent, to potentially find molecules and deliver molecules as products, posylated products, long-acting injectable, one-week profile, File as only needing a phase 1B registrational study and supporting that with what's required in the 505B2 program approach and getting other assets, other products that meet an unmet need to market just as efficiently. So prospectively, Serena could be a company in three to five years with multiple clinical assets that are the equivalent of late stage assets because the regulatory pathway is compressed. And so we're really excited about the potential to grow this company and this pipeline and help hundreds of thousands, if not millions of patients over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. That's why the folks that have joined this project, the outstanding drug developers and investors and company builders are so excited about this opportunity. It's not a single asset. It is a platform that is potentially a significant pipeline that addresses unmet need.